Hey guys, welcome back to Action Not Included. Clay's amazing space comedy simulator extraordinaire, the Spaced Out DLC. You can tell it is the Spaced Out DLC because we have got access to three separate asteroids over here. Three asteroids that are slightly smaller than the original game's version, but don't let that fool you. It's not helped me back on making spaghetti pipes, corridors that are far, far too long, and of course, getting a long commute everywhere. Last time we got ourselves a steam engine up and ready to go, and you know what? We're going to begin that launch sequence. This guy is going off to Sharubi. It is the place where we've got all our atomic research to be done. And so we are going to go do some atomic research. Away it goes, carrying Sir Dr. Captain Subs, Esquire the second, and of course, Hicks as well. We're going to make a brand new life over on Sharubi, as I say here. We should be able to make ourselves a nice little base up the top here, get ourselves some toilets sorted. Uh, we've got some volcanoes that we want to take advantage of. And there's this uh, radiation thing thing down the bottom here that we're not going to be able to get to today but we are going to have a look at at some point but but it takes time for rockets to travel so we can as you can see here it takes uh, three of these sections to do it's going to take something like two and a half cycles to get over there so in the meantime we're going to come over to Tyrannu here and we are going Ooh, what were, the, what were those lines of carbon dioxide there? We are going to deal with a problem that we have been uh, facing for a little while now. Poke shells. Poke shells are here to make us molt. Uh, shells leave behind can be molted uh, after molting can be crushed into lime. This is the thing that we need to make ourselves a renewable steel supply. And so we're going to try and make this into a nice little rod that will just turn over all on its own. I'm not sure if we want to drain the water or not, but what we do need to do, what we really do need to do, it, uh, it turns out first we need to send some refined metal over. Over here, but I want to make some shipping, uh, some auto sweepers here to pick up the eggs as these guys uh, make them. The thing with these poke shells is they have this habit of getting very angry around their their eggs. I presume that just reminds them of the mortality of life and how they will be dead in less than a hundred cycles, and they get very angry about it and start beating up everyone until that baby is born. Whereupon they get calm again. It's not really when the baby is born until it until the egg is broken. The baby being born does that. And so we're going to use these shipping lines to try and get rid of the eggs. Also take out the poke shell malt and turn and send that across via the magic of teleportation to get us uh, to make us some lime. I need to come over to your kill though and do a little hacky thing that we do all the time. We've got ourselves a teleporter thing here. I'm going to turn off the dirt. We don't need to send any more dirt over. Uh, and we're going to go down to refined metal. I've got some copper kicking around. Not as much refined metals as I thought I had kicking around. If you come in and have a look at the refined metals here, you can see we've got 465 kilograms of copper we've got more iron surprisingly i didn't i didn't think that was going to be the case but if we come down to the bottom i'm just, I'm just going to queue up a whole bunch more actually two tons let, let, let's just turn over two tons here yeah that'd be great okay bishop here coming up also jonesy jonesy came all the way from the bottom of the map like all the way down here i'm not sure how some copper got dropped down there but down, uh, dropped down there it did okay well, our first load is going through uh, i'm going to select this and turn the alarms off because oh, it's a bit much right Thankfully, because Jonesy already has the task, he's going to go ahead and finish it here. Beautiful, beautiful. There's all the copper we had off. Okay, that's fine. That's fine because we've got two more tons being made. Uh, this should now enable us to come down. We've got another problem, though. If I click the auto sweeper and I go, yeah, uh, let's uh, ooh, let's go for this one here. Maybe we'll end up filling this area in a little bit here. I could probably I could probably see you doing that right now. I'm going to do it above just so we know, uh, so just so we don't crush this guy. But then we'll start building in some layers. This looks like a good uh, good size, uh, but we. We've got a problem. Colony lacks a mechatronics engineer. Also, we've got people starving. Really, Jonesy? Really? Uh, th th there's a problem with duplicates um, favouring going to the toilet uh, over eating. I just... No. <laughs> So was, as I was saying before, night time so rudely interrupted me. We've got a problem at the moment that the colony lacks a mechatronics engineer. Now, if we come over to the skills, uh, the random randomers. Uh, as you can see, he's got an awful lot of skill points compared to Honda or Era. But more importantly, Mo uh, Era and Honda are pretty much redlining. They've got nine morale. They need six. And over here, they've got 11. They need nine. Whereas randomers, oh my gosh, because I've given him all the jobs that he absolutely loves to do, he has got a surplus of morale on the go here. So so I'm actually going to turn him... We've got so much. Let, let me just do that again. If I hover over the mechatronics engineer, it shows us how many more uh, morale is taken up. Over on the, the left here, if I, if I hover, bam, we've got ourselves more than enough to actually come along here and go, hey, random randomers, could you please become a whole new person for me? Thank you. Instantly, instantly, we lose the uh, need, a, need a operator for this. I tell you what we do have a bit of problem with, though. We cannot get down and into this water, so let's, uh, let's turn that priority up a little bit. 
Okay, so I've set up a few orders here to be made. Uh, inconveniently, though, I've forgotten that a lot of these buildings will be flooded. So we're going to have to do something with the salt water. I've dug out a, a small little uh, causeway here for it to flow down, put down a, an order for a mesh tile, and it looks like Eret's on that. Uh, we're getting very close to being able to take out all the blocks here. I wonder if I take this out and, of course, do, destroy the uh, the critter drop-off here, whether these guys are just going to drop straight down or whether they're going to do something funny like jump on the ladder. I don't think I've ever seen, ever seen a critter use a ladder, but that doesn't mean it will never happen, right? Lack of evidence isn't an evidence of lack after a rule. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. One of the other things I need to do, of course, is to run some power in. I've run a bit more of a spline over this way, put down a power transformer, and we'll run a power line coming in through this way. Just a little bit of white uh, light wire. We don't actually need that much power. 120. Yes, they all dropped. Brilliant. Awesome. So that now gives us three poke shells in there. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Uh, I'm going to come through. I'm going to make this a max of eight. We're going to auto wrangle, and we're going to drop this down to two here we go poke shell and poke shell all right beautiful okay one more thing just to take care of the creature's needs we need to get a little bit of a fooding in there that's that's good the water is flowing is it going to back up here do we need to dig a little bit more room i don't think we do but i am going to take this and this tile out to allow the carbon dioxide to uh, bubble on up out of there Man, it's, it, the, the drop off still flooded. Uh, all it's done is compress the carbon dioxide down. Okay, well, I mean, it, it's a start. It's a start. Okay, so overnight we need to do a little bit of maths. We've got a nine wide, uh, nine wide building here. We know that the maximum, the maximum a stable can be, if we have a look, is 96. So if I come to my uh, my handy little calculator here, otherwise known as my mobile phone, which unfortunately has a lock on it. Okay, that's that, that's good. All right. Uh, so we've got 96 divided by nine brilliant ten great well it's actually ten, ten and two thirds so uh, maybe we'll go up to eleven and then fill in some blocks that 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 could be a thing yeah i think we'll do that so there's ten there's eleven dig all that out and we are good that that's the size of our stable beautiful beautiful uh, in fact, why am I making this out of sandstone? We, we want to have a beautiful area made of granite. Granite is more nice than sandstone, according to the game. If we have a look, sandstone decor plus 10%, granite plus 20%. So we'll go with that, thanks. Quick call in with the uh, the rocket over here. We've got 1.2 cycles. Let's go in and have a look and make sure these guys are doing well. It all looks good here. How we do, we got a bit of carbon on the bottom. That's that's fine. Probably only going to be a problem whilst they're eating. Yeah, we can we can live with this. This is good. I would have loved to have got an oxy fern in here. It's probably the only thing that I'd want to fit down somewhere. If we could move the mess tables up here or something like that, then that would work. But of course, they can't quite fit in that space. So yeah, I don't know. And then they're just idle. Just just stood there being like, yep, yeah, nope. All's good, thanks. I have to wonder whether you'd prefer a copper or an iron toilet. Uh, just changing out the old toilet that we had here. We kept it just to keep the, the uh, millwood going, but of course, no millwood anymore. So time to turn over to a uh, completely water economy. Sanitation economy? Yes, I like that. Okay, the next day has rolled around. We have gotten one and a half minutes to get this finished. I don't think we're going to get it done. I don't really think so. I really wanted to get a, uh, a an incubator here put into place, but I don't have the 200 grams of refined metal. And if I come over to your kill, uh, this has been on too low a priority. So nobody's got around to actually making it work. Ash is coming along to do some now. That's pretty good. But is it? Yes, it's copper to uh, copper or to copper. That's good. There's also a lot of iron being made to steel there to worry about as well. We also need it for the conveyor loader to put the eggs into. Okay, all right, it's going to take a little while, but man, it's the, the landing. The landing is getting close. Three, two, one. Okay, now what does it do? It goes over there. We click on Sharubi. Oh, oh, look at this getting built. All right, that's beautiful. These guys should now come down for a landing at some point, bringing down a whole bunch of heat and steam with them. Look at this. Is this going to destroy these ladders? I kind of hope it's going to destroy these ladders. Look at them. They're getting hot. Oh, man, they are getting really hot. But I don't know whether they're supposed to be there or not. We'll leave them there for now. I wonder if there's a way of uh, X buildings destroy. Yeah, we can. I just also noticed we've got a big problem. Laugh hard if you've noticed it, guys. Laugh hard if you've noticed it. I uh, I didn't even think about this. This is this is quite the issue. There's no way for these guys to get out of there. Uh, let let let's try. Let's view the interior. Let why 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 is there? 
Why is the toilet out? We got dirt. There's dirt in here. Allow manual use. Dirt. A kilogram of the stuff. Oh, I bet it's too high up or something like that. Let, let's clear it up. All right, that, that's caught me a little off guard. That's caught me a little off guard, but we should be okay. All right, Hicks can actually get out there. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, that was that was looking to be a lot worse than it actually was. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, first thing we need to do is try and figure out, well, these guys have got polluted oxygen. They're going to they're gonna have a bad time with slime lung, but we need to get some beds down, so let's do that straight away. I mean, saying that, they've got they've got a bedroom. What we actually need to do is... Is that dirt? That is dirt. Is get these toilets up and running. Let's put some toilets behind some little enclosed spaces over here. We'll go one, two... Uh, actually, actually, what we actually need is uh, sanitation in the form of... Sorry, I was just trying to get the way up to the water there. We're going to have to try and collect up all these waters, put them in there. We've got, we've got a liquid pump. Uh, we should have the glass in there to make power as well. That's the next big thing we need to do. Okay, we're going to start off with a small, compact, understated toilet. It's a, it's a must. It's a must. Okay, another thing we're going to have to try and do is drop all this plastic on the floor. Uh, so maybe not on the floor. We'll come back over to Sharubi and put down a storage container. Okay, we'll just pop these two down here and see how long it takes them to get to it. Plastic, nine. Are people straight on it? It's going to take them a while, but they are kind of on it. Where is Hicks? Go oh, hello, you're coming all the way down for the aluminium ore, are you? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. It's a little bit of distance. The food is a, a little unavailable to us. Of course, we've got food inside here. Hopefully, every night they'll be coming back to uh, rest, relax, and eat. I'm, I'm not I'm not sure about... Oh, rotten gristleberry. Ooh, lovely. Not sure about the uh, the germ situation here, though. Oh, wow, it only took us 25 kilograms to get here. We, we have many round trips. Three, three round trips in the tank. Okay, that's nice. Well, not in the tank. Two round trips in the tank and one home. Okay, I've set this bin to receive sand and plastic, and the bin next to it received glass and steel. We've already started moving some plastic in, but of course, all the pips... All the pips. Uh, but this is this is good. This now means inside the Space Pharaoh module, you can see that we're down to steel rather than plastic. So it's going to keep pulling these things out. Uh, they are going to keep pulling these things out until we've emptied all of it. You're doing all right there, Hicks. You're eating, eating good, eating well. Okay, toilets in place. Let's make it. Let's go through and get our access way to the water. I've also uh, started a dig order up here for when we get the the glass coming through. Uh, the main reason we brought the glass, of course, was to get our power set up sorted. Solar panels. That's that's what we're waiting for. What are you bringing, so? Sir Dr. Captain. Oh, he's not, you're not bringing Sir Dr. Captain. How dare you? <laughs> I keep saying Hicks is trapped. I don't know why. He's totally fine. We gather here at the midnight of about six, cycle 600 to watch uh, Hicks have a poo and Captain Subs have a sleep. But more importantly, we're actually here to celebrate the fact that Sir Dr. Captain Sub Esquire the second has earned himself a skill point. It's time to put that first one down. And I think, I think given the situation we are facing right now, it's going to be a hard digging or an improved building. I say that though, but there are other problems. Let's come out of here. We're going to save that. We're going to save that skill point. Well, you can see that inside of this rocket, we have got ourselves 24,000 calories of food. But unfortunately, the vast majority of it has not been refrigerated and thus is going off very, very, very quickly. This leaves us with a problem because outside and the big wide world where we have landed, we have got 500 calories. That is not enough to get our two guys through the situation that they are going to be facing. So we need to suddenly pivot our focus into trying to find some food. Now I have had a look around the map of course I have overnight trying to find myself sources of nourishment. Over here you can see we've got ourselves some mill lice uh, this is all just going to be growing over I'm going to enable the auto harvest on these. Uh, it's nice that some is dropping on the floor but it's uh, better that we have access to uh, constantly producing plants. I'm going to grab this door as well and keep that pipsqueak in there. No, that, that, that's a pip. Wait, wait, wait. Pip squeaks are, are these little guys down. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I put all of this up on the highest priority. That's going to get us access to a couple of thousand calories through there. We do have other ways of making food, though. Uh, not only do we have uh, the other plants out here that I have enabled auto harvest on. Have I done that for a lot of them? Yeah, it looks like I have. But if we come all the way down here and grab ourselves a ladder, I'm going to go through 
no, no, no. This bit here because there is nothing underneath. We're going to go through there and try and get ourselves some dust cap because we are always producing carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is something that we never run out of. In fact, if I press F4, you can see we're starting to build up great big stocks of it down here. Plus, also, there's a lot of wood around, so we can make carbon dioxide relatively quickly. And that is the only thing that the fungal spores or the dust cap even requires to to grow. As you can see, a minimum rate. Oh, maximum rate. That's okay. Oh, I nearly had a panic attack. It does need a lot of slime. Slime is an issue, especially as we don't have any any puffed over. There they are. There they are. This is what we're looking at. Okay, so we're going to have to make a puffed ranch over here to keep the slime turning. You never make that much slime like this, so we're going to might have to find another way of making it. I don't know if there are other ways of producing slime. I know these guys don't quite pack in to the same limits like uh, like Hatch and stuff do into uh, stables. Stables is the word I was looking for. Um, they, they only need, they uh, can only fit six into a max size stable as opposed to everything else is eight. It still says Hicks is trapped. You're not, you're not trapped. You're literally right next to both the job and your your place to live. I don't, I don't get it. But what we have got is 2,300 calories of mill lice and hexalent fruit. That's, that's great. There's this other one down here. Have we uh, enable that auto harvest. Great. Beautiful. Okay, so now that this job has got underway, let's come down here and uh, bump this priority up. It's quite scary coming down to where the radium is, but according to this... Uh radiation overlay there there is no radium to be found uh, no radiation to be found plenty of radium hundreds of kilos of it would you believe but now that we have access to mill lice and surely we've got access to the dust caps now uh, we 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 have access to basic food but it's not great food it's not making great meals so I've set up a whole bunch of other build orders up here basically we've got a kitchen and we've got ourselves some power and this is why I wasn't sure about setting Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire the second up as a builder even though or a digger, either one, even though he would love it and we won't take any um, morale hit for it, we need someone to do the cooking and uh, that, that someone is you, my friend. Chef, Sir Dr. Captain Sub Sesquire the second, yes. <laughs> Okay, downtime of day 601. We got ourselves access to a bit more food. It's not the most luxurious of food, but hey, at least people aren't starving right now. And did all of it rot? We've got some roasted grub fruit nest left, but most of it's rotted. Oh no, Hicks cannot find food. I, I think he can. I think he can find food. He's probably just in the toilet. Something else that I've done that I'm hoping we're going to see once Dr. Captain Sub Esquire the third, uh, second, sorry, uh, stops eating is I've given him a little hat. Uh, obviously, a little hat is something that's very important to all because and he was the only one running around without one as much as that spiffing spiffing hairstyle is a good look uh, he, he needs to know he needs to uh, project his job out to everybody out there and that of course is to be a chef for the moment for the moment also the car carbon problems come coming a problem well, we have eaten through all the food available and Hicks has just entered the starving range. At some point I could see us start killing some pips to try and get some meat. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Okay, my only hope is that we can get the microbe musher up, run, um, up and running quick enough that we can make him some some of that uh, mucky sludge. You know, the uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but the thing that you make out of dirt and water. Oh, he's found something to eat. He's found something to eat. I'm, I'm all about it. I'm not sure what he's found to eat, but it's good. Okay, mushroom. He found a mushroom. All right, brilliant. Okay, no longer on starvation watch, but how long will it last? It's a good one to try and figure out, right? Okay, the grill's down, so we want fried mushroom forever. We want mush fry forever, possibly, yeah. Um, what else are we possibly likely to make? Barbecue forever, thank you. Oh, and of course, highest possible priority because we need to make sure they're eating good quality food. So we can put mushroom into the fridge, but not the fried mushroom? I don't I don't see it anywhere. Maybe I'm being completely blind. It isn't in the cooking ingredient, and it is also, I don't believe, in the medicine. No. Mush bar. Like just 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 make us a few mush bars to see us through. Oh, it's horrible, but we're gonna have to do it. Life slows forever. Uh, just all, all of these forever, but I don't think we're actually gonna get these bottom two. Okay, crisis averted. It's time to get ourselves some seeds for our new uh, new farm. Where are we going to put it? I don't know. I've noticed that we've got a lot of carbon dioxide building up here. I'm tempted to just kind of gouge this out. We want to move this outhouse somewhere anyway. Maybe uh, instead of building this compost, we push this back a couple of blocks. Almost definitely going to need some uh, drywall here. Almost certainly. We had to uh, put some down here because we had the uh, the vacuum being exposed back there. Wasn't very nice. Talking of not very nice, here comes the mush bars. Mm -mm -mm. 
Ah, oh, how do we get him out there? There's a there's a shine nymph stuck in there. That's that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. Fresh into the world and immediately caged. I mean, it is producing light. This is good. Ah, oh, what what's this? What's this? A, um, the Hicks is busy building up to go towards these mushrooms above the gold volcanoes over here. Uh, and there's a whole kitchen set up. A whole kitchen. Oh man, I wish I knew about that. <laughs> so I was just thinking about what sort of farm tile to use here. Do I put it in the planter box? Do I put it in the farm tile? The hydroponic tile? And I was like, wait, no, no, no. One of the big problems with mushrooms is that they need fertilization of slime when you grow them domestically. But if not, all it needs is a little bit of darkness, which, you know, we can make happen just by getting rid of a few of these shine bugs over here. So I'm going to collect up all the stuff that is dumped down here, put down a whole bunch of these storage bins, put a uh, fungal spore in each, destroy all that, and then just try and get one of these pips wrangled over this way to plant the seeds. That's the hope. Will it happen? Probably not. Probably going to be a little bit more exact than I'm making out, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll put like a doorway here so we can't get out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try all these things. Okay, so we got the test chamber set up. The problem, of course, is that it's absolutely full of rubbish. So we're going to spend a little bit of time just panicking these guys into emptying the place out. Almost definitely going to come to regret this. Or nighttime could happen. Either one. <gasps> a pip just walked in. Oh, no, he's going to leave. All right, we'll, we'll wait and see if this guy will actually just walk in there on its own. I have got a drop, uh, drop off here, but uh, if he just walks in, that's much better. Of course, whilst this whole saga is going on, the Hicks has become very close to getting stressed beyond belief. So we're going to try and get a skill scrubber set up here so we can bring him back down to more manageable levels of skills. As you see, he's got all of this. He doesn't need all of this. He probably doesn't even need the rocketry. And we only need to lose three or four points. That, that would be fine. Everyone's like, why is everyone exhausted? I mean, yeah, cool, cool, get some sleep, guys. Oh, off he goes again. Um, but we, we just need this one bit done. Just this one bit done, and we can get Hicks down below the 64% stress, if, if at all possible. Of course, trying to get his morale back up into the positive is a different... Uh, different job to just trying to get it not being uh, negative, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. We can see what we can do. All right, Hicks, we're going to take away all that pressure, all that knowledge that... No? Wait, what happened there? Oh, we keep running out of power. Okay, okay. Can we... Let's put a battery up. Uh, let's unassign Hicks as well so he doesn't get stuck in that loop that he's in. <laughs> I'm going to invoke Red Alert. This this really needs to be done. We need, we need to get this done tonight. So Hicks, Hicks needs to get scrubbed. Okay, battery in place. Let's just try and put him in there. See what happens. Are we gonna Are we gonna get enough battery charge to actually do it? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, we should be able to actually get Hicks scrub this time. Yeah, yeah. The ba the battery is keeping just there. Well, I mean, it's just behind, but hopefully, it's got enough in it that we can fill all this bar all the way. Okay, Hicks is now scrubbed. Is this going to mean that we get some better morale out of him? We can surely hope. Let's try and get hold of him here. Okay, let's have a look at his stress. It is going down. All right, beautiful. That's that's what we like to see. You know, else we like to see the fact that we can give him things like digging and construction without actually changing his morale much here. So we managed to get the dust caps down, but we are having a little bit of a pressure issue. You can see that we're using the oxygen diffuser up here to make it nice and breathable, but we've now got uh, enough carbon dioxide, or not enough carbon dioxide. We've been breathing the oxygen, we've been running out of algae. Down here, though, we have some more, so I might need to go and get these guys on a particular mission. Is there anywhere there that's easier to get? No, okay, that is the easiest to get. All right, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just grab these. But of course, there are other ways of filling up this place with carbon dioxide. We need to hit a certain pressure, and a certain pressure could be easily obtained. Down the bottom here, we have access. Is it all the way down the bottom? Okay, let's go to the sea, and I'll show you what I've seen. We've got coal. We've got nine tons of coal. If I put it onto the little side bit here, I can click on this, and it's in there somewhere. There's 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 nine kilograms there. That's not quite what we're after. There's more over here. There's there's some around everywhere. And of course, with coal, we can make power, and that power produces a lot, a lot of carbon dioxide and we'll put a new power system in beautiful just like that so at some point we need to start producing water we can't survive on algae for all our lives so we need to switch over to hydro uh, to water producing oxygen and we'll get some hydrogen that will burn off or something like that uh, but there's also other things like we need to clean up our toilets and clear out the water that's coming from the wash basin of course it'd be nice to swap all of those over to the water version uh, coming in and going to the filtration medium here you can see that we have absolutely none well that's not quite true we have some regolith down here that's uh, that, that's interesting it's nice to have it access to it but it's not actually like two little squares like that not going to do me uh, much good so what i've done is i've cleared out the skill scrubber down here and i'm kind of kind of going to come into the refinement look for the rock crusher 
Oh, no. oh, it takes up one more than I thought it did. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of this battery. Did I mention I've moved them out of the rocket? They kept on running back and forth through the vacuum, having a bad time, and it was just making these uh, making the whole job very, very long. So I built them a barracks over here, and of course managed to squeeze in the smallest little mess tape, uh, mess hall over here into this space. It worked out quite well. It's uh, cut down commute times immensely. The problem is that we are back to making uh, a mush bar because uh, pe people are starving. Cat Sir, Dr. Captain Subs is uh, having, having a bit of trouble. Having a bit of trouble. Every now and then we do actually get some meat into the system. These guys get to uh, eat some barbecue and live like kings for a bit. Alright, there we go. Deal with the starvation. So now that that's been taken care of, something I want to do. Uh, as you can see, we've managed to get some of these dust caps uh, planted. But these pips... These pips, they just don't want to pick up the spores and plant it. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come into the skills. I'm going to go, Hicks, my friend, could you please become a rancher? No, you can't do it immediately like that. But could you please become a rancher? It is redlining his morale. This is going to lead to a little bit of troubles. But just for now, we're going to go around and we're going to try and ranch up all of these guys. Well, we've caught a Draco. I wasn't after a Draco, though. I was after this guy. Do you reckon if we just, like, wrangle him manually, it'll be better? Yes, yes, it worked much better. Off Hicks goes, made his delivery. Now we've got two pips in there. That that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh no, we need to stop this. Well, I wouldn't call it living well, but we have definitely figured out a way to live on this rock. We've got just enough food ticking over to keep us alive for now until we can sort out a more sturdy supply. I've liking the ideas of getting these wild dust caps on the go. I've managed to get ourselves three pips in there now. I've yet to use the rock crusher to actually crush rocks. It's something I've never done before. Having a look over on this side, you can see we've got a whole a bunch of igneous rocks. So I'm actually going to ask them to start turning that into sand so that next time we can come in and have a go at trying to make ourselves some more permanent watering solution, some sort of way of cleaning all the polluted oxygen up. We've done quite well up here with the few uh, few deodoriders we have are kicking around, but it'd nice, be nice to come around and do this whole entire area. We definitely need to get off of the algae economy here uh, but I will see you then when we're gonna do that bye